Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the R cross C character matrix containing only A and B and then the program must replace the B with the hyphen and then shift all the occurrence of A to the right side and finally the program must print the modified matrix as the output. So first we are going to accept the R cross C character matrix containing only A and B and then replace the B with hyphen and shift all the occurrence of A to the right. And finally the program must print the modified matrix. So first we'll take our test case. So here we have got a uh, 4 cross 6 matrix. So we'll take row by row. So we'll check the number of elements that is the count of a is 3 and B is 3. So here in this row we have 6A and there is no B and in this row we have 4A and 2B. So here we have 5A and 1B. So we are going to replace the B with hyphen. So we have 3 B's here. So we'll have 3 hyphen first and after that we have 3 A so we'll print it and in the next row there is 0 B so we'll print the A's and in the next row we have 2 B's so we'll have 2 hyphen and then we'll have 4 A's and then we have 1b so we'll have only one hyphen and we'll have other element as a so this will be our output now we'll take our another test case so in this test case we'll count the so here it is here it will have a as 1 and b as 4 so here it is a is 3 and b is 2 so here we have A to be 2 and we have B3 and here A is 3 and B is 2 and here we have B4 and A1. So first we have 4 B's in the first row. So we'll have 4 hyphens and then 1 A and then we have 2 B's. So we'll have 2 hyphens and 3 A. And then we have three B's, so we'll have three hyphen, and then remaining two will be A, and then we have two B, so we'll have two hyphen and three A, and then finally we'll have four B, so we'll have four hyphen and one A. So this will be our output. Now let us implement our program. First we'll get R comma C that is number of rows and columns and after that we'll get the matrix. For row in range R. So after getting the matrix we'll have a for loop. 
so for rho in matrix so the first thing we have to do is we have to print hyphen for the b times that is we have to print hyphen for row count of b so this will give the count of b so for b times hyphen will be printed so for example we have row count to be 2 means 2 hyphen will be printed so after printing the hyphen we have to print the a so a will be printed for row dot count of a times so after that a will also be printed now let us execute our program we'll pass our first test case so we have got the correct output as you can see the hyphens in the starting and the a to the right side and we'll pass our second test case so here also we have got the correct output Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.